Let's move on now to question 7. The figure below, not drawn to scale, is made up of two squares of different sizes. Okay, can you find the squares? Okay, this is one of them. Can you see the square? So this tells us that this side is also 7 centimeters. There's another square, which is this one. Okay, this tells us that this side is 4 centimeters. Now the question is to find the area of the shaded region. There are a few ways for us to do uh, area or shaded part. Okay, the first one is we always ask ourselves, do I have a formula for the area of the shaded part? Right? So if you look at this, this arrow, uh, there's no formula for arrow. You only know what is triangle, how to find triangle, how to find square, how to find rectangle, how to find circles. But there's no uh, formula for finding an arrow. Okay? So that's out. Then you gotta tell us, ask ourselves, okay, from the shaded part, can I make other figures? Okay, very tempting for us to it's very tempting for us to now look at okay, there's one triangle here. So if I can find the area of this triangle and I find the area of this triangle, I'll be able to get my answer. Okay? So that sounds like it. So what we do is we have to find our base and our height. If you look at this angle, uh, triangle that I've I've colored the orange, um, do you know what's the base and what's the height? Well, I know what's this part. This is 4 centimeters, But I will not know what's this. Okay, because dimension was not given. Okay, which means to say this method is also out. If it's, it's also out, then what? Then we have to use the long-winded way, which is the area of the entire figure, which is made out of two squares, minus of what is unshaded, and you get what is shaded. Okay, so that's a bit tedious, but that's the only way to go for this question. Okay, so in this case, we will have to find the total area, which is actually 49, because 7 times 7 equals to 49. Okay, that's the area of this big square. Right, then we will take 4 times 4, 16, for this smaller square. Can you see it? So I'll add up. I will have 65 centimeters. So I know the area of the entire uh, figure, the two squares, the big and the small, is 65 centimeters. Now, then I will have to go look at the unshaded part to see if I can do anything about it. Okay, so let's look at this this triangle first. Okay, do you know the area of this triangle? It's half times the base, which is here. All right, it's seven because this is seven too. And then the height is another 7, correct? So half times 7 times 7, that gives you 24.5 square centimeters. Then we look at this one, this other triangle, the red one. So we have half times, what's the base? The base is 7 plus 4, that gives us 11. And this is the height, which is 4. Okay, you cancel out, you get 22 centimeter, square centimeter. So you got to cut it out. What you do is 24.5 my, uh, plus 22. That gives you 46.5. Okay, so for uh, 65, you minus 46.5. Okay, so you will have, this is 8, 5. So you have 18.5 square centimeter. Okay, 18.5 square centimeter is the area of this part, the blue part. Alright?